After listening to this session, you will have a clear idea about how do we install libraries for accessing I2C, how do we interface Gyro and HC05 to 80Tiny85 and applications of 80Tiny85. Interfacing Gyro and HC05 to 80Tiny85. Installing libraries. The main objective of this session is to use 80Tiny85 and interface it with the sensors like gyroscope which is MPU6050 and send the data wirelessly through Bluetooth. We have used HC05 for Bluetooth module. You can use Bluetooth terminal HC05 mobile app for visualizing the data. By the end of this session, you will be realizing the extent you have miniaturized your circuit by using 80Tiny85 when compared to the similar application implemented in the intermediate module. Before proceeding, you need to remember that 80Tiny85 doesn't come with inbuilt UART. So, we need to use software serial library for UART. The pinout and the representation of the 80Tiny85 is presented in front of you. And please remember, there is no UART supported with 80Tiny85 by default. Installing libraries for I2C. Wire.h library which is used for Arduino is a heavy library and hence you cannot use it for 80Tiny85 as its flash memory is only 8KB. So there is something called tinywire.h library which is to be used and which is exclusively built for the smaller version of microcontrollers like 80Tiny85. In this case 80Tiny85 is the master and MPU6050 module is the slave. So we need to use the tinywire.h library where m at the end of the name depicts the mode of operation of 80Tiny85. Kindly visit the link https github.com slash adoptroot slash tinywire m and click on code and download zip. Once the zip file is downloaded, add it to the Arduino IDE as shown in the images presented in front of you. You can also find the library in the resources we have provided it for your easier access. Connecting MPU6050 and HC05. At the very first glance, the connections might look confusing, but breaking them down into smaller chunks will help us in understanding it easily. Let us first look at the power section of the circuit. The VREG IC at the middle is nothing but the 9 volt to 5 volt regulator LM7805 IC. Remember it, this is nothing but LM7805 IC. The IC just needs two 10 microfarad capacitors at the input and the output to reduce decoupled noise from the power source. The left side pin of LM7805 is the input and the right side pin is the output. 9 volt can be given to the input and we get 5 volt as the output. This 5 volt can be supplied to 80Tiny85, HC05 and MPU6050. Once the power section is understood, the rest of the connections are presented as you can see in front of you as a table. It's very simple and easy to understand as well. It's time to code. TinyWireM and software serial libraries are included for I2C and UART functionalities of 80Tiny85. My serial of software serial class is initialized for transmitting data through digital GPIO3 of 80Tiny85. Gyro X, Gyro Y and Gyro Z are the variables used for storing the Gyro values obtained from MPU6050. My serial is used for transmitting the Gyro data through Bluetooth at a baud rate of 9600. You can see the same in the code snippet that we have presented in front of you where Gyro X, Gyro Y and Gyro Z are declared as float and they are used for storing Gyro values and the baud rate is set as 9600. The remaining code in the void setup and void loop are the same code used in interfacing Arduino Uno and Gyro in the intermediary course. Hence, we request you to go through it in case you do not understand it in this case. The only change that you need to notice here is we are replacing wire in the original code with tiny wire m at all the places in the code. For an instance, replace wire.read with tiny wire m dot read. This is one thing that is to be definitely done so as to get the things working fine. 
visualization of data. As 801085 does not have an inbuilt UART connection that can be connected to the PC or the laptop, we need to be careful. We can use a TTL dongle or Bluetooth for visualizing the gyro data. In this session, we have used Bluetooth HC05 and Bluetooth terminal app for visualizing the data. But you can also use TTL dongle for visualizing it. We recommend you to try connecting RX TX of TTL dongle to 2 and 6 physical pins of AT Tiny respectively and then open TerraTem for visualizing the data. The usage of the Bluetooth terminal app is taught clearly in the beginners course and we request you to recollect the same from there if you have any queries. Please have a look at the snapshots that we are presenting. It will list the list of paired devices already when you open the Bluetooth HC05 terminal app. Once you scan it, you will get the list done and you can click on it to connect and the moment you connect it, you will get the data and this is all clearly explained during the demo section. The extent of miniaturization. The first image is the circuit we have built in this session using AT8085 along with the power source and the second image is the same circuit built using Arduino Uno with power source not included. These two adjacent images show the extent of miniaturization possible through the inclusion of 8085. You might be thinking that the circuit in the first image and the circuit in the second image are of the same size because of the clumsy jumper wire connections. But if you use single standard wires, the connections will look much more cleaner and the circuit looks much more smaller. Definitely 8085 is smaller and is the best for miniaturized circuit applications. Let's summarize. This session has showed interfacing MPU6050 and HC05 with 801085. Applications of 801085 are really innumerable and very appreciable. They can almost fit right away into any application due to its smaller size and form factor and can be used from the smallest of the applications like electronic badges to industrial electronic equipment. The circuit shown in this session can further be miniaturized using smaller gyro and Bluetooth to make wearable applications like smartwatches. In automobiles, AT Tinies can be used for performing small operations like automatic mirror adjustment, etc. In this tutorial, we will clearly understand how do we interface the AT Tiny 85 with Gyro and HC05. The process is simple and please follow the guidelines as we convey. Please go to File. That's the first step in the Arduino IDE to be followed. I'm clicking the File, Examples, and in that Arduino ISP, I click Arduino ISP. And let's check if the COM port is are proper and then upload. The Arduino ISP is uploaded and once it is done, please come back to the file attinygyro underscore hc05. That is the file that we have written. And once you have come back to it, go to tools, select the board attiny microcontrollers, 25, 45, 85 would be there. In that you got to select the attiny85 now. The next step is to select the internal clock frequency properly. 8 MHz is the one which is to be selected and please select programmer Arduino as ISP option and upload it. Once it is uploaded, the process is almost complete and we are free to go with the demo. You can see that the uploading happens right now and once it is uploaded, you get a message as done uploading as you got right now. We'll go ahead with the demo of it right now. Please make sure all the connections are given as per the explanation that we have given you in the theoretical session. We have used a 9 volt battery for the powering up process. Please install the Bluetooth terminal HC05 if you have not done that till now but otherwise you can use it if you have already installed it. You can see that YD underscore BT is displayed there. Click on it, it will get connected. And you can see that the data from the gyroscope is coming consistently on screen right now. And I'm going to tilt the board right now a little bit to see if there is a variation. You can see that when I move it here and there, the data variation is happening and we could realize it in the screen immediately. This is how you can interface the 801085 with gyroscope and HC05 and this could greatly help you in miniaturizing the entire task.